We should ask Donald Trump. You talked about black men would be with you. Where's a black man being uh, being nominated by you for your cabinet? Has anyone noticed there's no black that has been nominated on his cabinet? That needs to be raised. First of all, yeah, it was weird that Al Sharpton just said there's been no black that's been named. But his point spoke directly to Trump's most vocal black surrogate that hasn't been named despite Trump's rapid rollout. Uh, I think it's criticism where people are upset that they still lost this election. And so if you were gonna ask Reverend Al or anybody else in the Democrat party, they're still looking their wounds about the fact that this did not work out the way that they thought it was going to. That being said, Donald Trump's cabinet is about people who are gonna implement his agenda. And he's not done, by the way. You have Susie Wiles, the first woman ever to serve as chief of staff. Mm -hmm. You have Marco Rubio, a Cuban American who's gonna serve as secretary of state, representing America across the globe when it comes to foreign policy. You have Tulsi Gabbard gonna be at DNI. So many others that are coming and there's still slots to, to be filled. So I think everybody needs to pump the brakes and just wait and see what happens. It's the standard answer from anyone that still has a shot at getting nominated somewhere. Just talk about how great his picks already are so that you don't get on his bad side and screw up your own chances. So maybe Sharpton is jumping the gun on Donald's being chosen, but the longer this goes on, the more people will wonder if he's gonna get publicly snubbed. Well, let me ask you, because I remember when your name came up as a potential speaker of the House. There were many who speculated that based on the prominent role you played in this campaign and election, Mm -hmm. that your name would have skyrocketed to at least the front of the line. We are several cabinet picks in. Mm -hmm. Are you not surprised that you have not been named? Have you had a conversation about being a part of the administration at all? All I will say is I am not surprised that I have not been named, but that does not mean I'm not going to do other things in the future. Have you... Has he asked you? Uh, No, there's some other things that I'm looking at going forward. I'm not going to talk about them now. We do this every time. We're not going to break news now. I would like to ask you, I mean, Governor of Florida, Senator, perhaps if Marco Rubio is confirmed, or any of those spots enticing to you? We'll see what happens as things go forward. No, it looks like that's it. Seems like Laura Coates maybe called out one of the options that Donald's was hinting at, from eventually challenging for the governor to taking Rubio's Senate seat. Well, let's keep it real, though. As evidence in the unearthed video of RFK Jr. pointing out exactly what kind of people gravitate to Trump. You know, one of the things that you you you, 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 have, you write so beautifully, and I you know your stuff is so fun to read. But you write about Trump. Quote: The way that you build a truly vicious nationalist movement is to wed a relatively small core of belligerent idiots to a much larger group of opportunists and spineless fellow travelers, whose primary function is to turn a blind eye to things. We may not have that many outright Nazis in America, but we have plenty of cowards and bootlickers. And once those fleshy dominoes start tumbling into the Trump camp, the game is up. When you talk about fleshy dominoes, Chris Christie comes to mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and now RFK Jr. is one of those fleshy dominoes. Well, you know, everyone around him is looking for power. And Byron Donalds might realize that he has a better route by avoiding a cabinet position. All this is just a positioning game for power anyway. Most politicians are trying to gain power without saying that they're trying to. It's why half these Trump guys, all the way up to his running mate, are are on record calling him Hitler. You know, some disaster to the party and a self-centered con man. So Byron Donalds is going to stay away from bashing Trump and continue to be one of his loudest surrogates so that he has a better chance to get whatever it is that he wants even if they don't really want to give it to them. I remember the barbershops you had done, gone through. You talked to many black voters, black male voters specifically on the campaign trail. If the current trend stands and there is not a single black cabinet member named, you'd be fine with that. What I want right now is for the agencies of the federal government to do their job and no more and to actually fix the ills that have been going wrong in our country. The voters spoke loud and clear two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. This was an avalanche. This was a political mandate for Donald Trump. And it's very clear that they want our borders secured. They want a thriving economy. Uh, They want to be able to get out of these conflicts across the globe. And yes, people want to be energy dominant here in America. Mm. And if the cabinet picks help deliver the America First agenda that Donald Trump wants, this will be an unmitigated success.